Hello and welcome to O Worm. Today we'll be taking a look at the anatomy of the long bone. It's going to be a pretty short video because there's not a lot of structure as you can see from this dissection. But let's get started. The bones of the body perform many important functions such as support, locomotion, protection of internal organs, storage of minerals and fats, and hematopoiesis. So this is a cross-section of a cow bone, probably the femur. This is a long bone, which are the typical long bone shape, like the bones in your arms, legs, or fingers. There are other types of bones as well. For example, the bones in your skull are called flat bones. Since this cross-section is only due to the shaft, or the middle of the bone, we won't be able to see some of the structures that you'll see in a longitudinal section but we'll try our best. The shaft, or the central part of the long bone, that you can see here, is called the diaphysis, while the ends of the bone that'll be here, is called the epiphysis. Between the diaphysis and the epiphysis, lies the metaphysis, which includes the growth plate. So first, this hard outer shell of this bone here, is called the compact bone. The compact bone is the main structure in the body for support, protection, and movement. It provides a strong mechanical lever against which the muscles can create movement. Compact bones also store and release calcium into the body when needed. There's another type of bone called spongy bone, which is less dense than compact bone and feels quote-unquote crunchy. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see it here, because it's usually at the ends of the long bone. Spongy bone is used for more active functions of the bones, like blood cell production. Now here in the center of the bone, is the yellow marrow. It's kind of buttery and soft in texture, so when I slice into it, you can see that it slices like butter. Yellow marrow here, is found in the central cavities of long bones, and is mainly involved in the storage of fats. The fats in yellow marrow are stored in cells called adipocytes. The yellow marrow here also contains mesenchymal stem cells, which can develop into bone, fat, cartilage, or muscle cells. The other type of bone marrow is red marrow, which is found primarily in the cavity of flat bones or at the ends of long bones. We don't have access to either at the moment, so we won't be able to see it unfortunately. Red marrow contains hematopoietic stem cells, which are cells that produce red blood cells. Interestingly, in circumstances of chronic hypoxia, the body can convert yellow marrow back to red marrow to increase blood cell production. Now if I look at the yellow marrow, you can see this structure. So there's a hole in the yellow marrow, here, and you can see that when I flip it over, there's also a hole on the other side here. You can see it goes all the way through, and you can kind of see the dissection trait through it. So this is where the nutrient artery would have been. The nutrient artery runs through the entire length of the long bone. It's not here right now, but you can see the space where it would have been. Its function is to connect the structures in the bone with the body's blood supply. For example, when red marrow forms new blood cells, or yellow marrow releases fats, these substances enter the circulatory system through this artery. Now if I look at the outer part of the bone here, you can see bits of muscle here, and also a whole artery here. And the muscle is actually not attached directly to the bone, it's attached to this layer of connective tissue right here, which is then attached to the bone. This membrane is called the periosteum, which covers the outer surface of all bones except at the joints. Peri means surrounding, and osteum means bone, so the periosteum surrounds bone. We forgot to film an outro, so here's a footage of us scooping out bone marrow instead. Aight, that's the end of the bone dissection. Thanks for saying, folks. Here's a fun fact about bones to send you on your way. The smallest bone in your body is the stapes, 
a stirrup shaped bone in the middle ear. So you can see again that yellow bone marrow is literally like butter. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.